Hey, welcome back everyone. It is now July 28th of 2020 and ever since the official release of Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker, a lot of fans around the world have been very skeptical about the future of the Star Wars franchise by Disney and Lucasfilm. This is Mike Zero. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel for future Star Wars content. Now, the one thing about Disney Star Wars is that we do know that they are in a phase of desperation and damage control to really get the ball rolling again when it comes to the Star Wars franchise. Essentially, what they want to do is they want to bring it to the same exact level as the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which honestly, that's going to take a lot of hard work, a lot of time and effort throughout a number of years to really get it to such a level like that and a high success rate, mind you, with all the new TV shows, the movies, you name it. Now, with that being said, we do know that George Lucas, John Favreau, and Dave Filoni are all working together as a team in order to provide as much authentic Star Wars stories as possible on Disney+, Plus, and of course for the th theatrical releases like the new trilogy of movies, as well as the spin-off films. Now, aside from all of this, given that Kathleen Kennedy no longer has creative control over a majority of these projects, except for the Leslie Headland Star Wars TV series, Things really are starting to shape up for Star Wars without a doubt. There really is a light at the end of the tunnel here when it comes to the franchise because of how hard George, John, and Dave are really working on for the future of the franchise and to really try to regain the lost fans of those who walked away from the sequel trilogy movies like The Last Jedi and of course even The Rise of Skywalker. Now, with that being said, of course, since the release of The Rise of Skywalker, many fans around the world have been curious about the future of Star Wars and where it's going by both Bob Iger and Chapek, where they are both currently working very hard together in order to create a better and brighter future for the Star Wars franchise. Now, it's described that currently George Lucas is making many changes to Lucasfilm behind the scenes, where it's noted that Lucas is developing a huge plan to bring back the character of Darth Maul in a significant way for Star Wars fans on Disney. Disney Plus that will be considered a TV series serving as a spin-off to solo a Star Wars story that will focus on the characters of Kira and Darth Maul in a show focused on Crimson Dawn, which is a big crime syndicate in the Star Wars universe. Now let me stop right here for a second. If you guys saw Solo, there is this character that was of course portrayed by Paul Bettany called Dryden Voss. And Dryden Voss, mind you, was the main villain of that story, essentially, for the most part of the film, until you figure out that Maul's in, you know, pretty much involved. That crime syndicate is essentially going to be the focus of this new Star Wars TV show that's going to feature Darth Maul in a different light. Now, it's described that George Lucas has been in the talks with actor Sam Witwer to be involved with the Darth Maul character in a significant way that will be unexpected for Star Wars fans, where Maul is set to get a brand new design in the upcoming Star Wars TV series that will involve tons of new lightsabers against, of course, other crime syndicates, lightsaber duels, mind you, of course, also involving Kira by his side as his personal sidekick in the new Star Wars show. Now, it's said that Lucas wants to expand the character of Darth Maul through many avenues, that this is just one of them to bring back, of course, Maul into live action form for, for the Star Wars fandom to enjoy. Now, the Crimson Dawn TV series featuring Maul is set to also explore the world of Dathomir in a very unique way for the community to witness once the series, of course, is set properly. Now, this is the surprising piece that I think a lot of people might have a lot of controversy over, right? Uh, a lot of people are going to voice their opinions over this on whether or not this really is a good idea. So, Alden Ehrenreich also has been in the talks to reprise his role as Han Solo in the form of a cameo in the upcoming series. However, nothing is final just yet with Alden Ehrenreich's characters as Han Solo. Now, since Solo A Star Wars Story failed at the box office, Disney wants to test the waters with this as a TV series follow-up to see exactly how it works. So, like I've said before in the past, if you look at Solo A Star Wars Story, the way it ended, it was just screaming that it needed a sequel in some way, shape, or form, or some kind of spin-off, right? Because we saw everything that happened between Han, Chewie, uh, you know, we saw the entire situation between Maul and Kira at the end of the film, and how Kira splits her ways with Han. That they want to explore in this new Star Wars TV show. Now, Darth Maul, very interesting how George has been in the talks with Sam Witwer. There's no mention of Ray Park. It could very well have something to do 
with that big controversy that happened on Instagram. I'm not going to go into details. I'm sure that you guys heard of the story. Go ahead and look it up on the internet. It's a big deal about Ray Park. I'm not saying, you know, if any of it's true or not as to exactly it, whether or not it was his intention to do that. But you pro guys probably know exactly what I'm talking about. To make it more simple, we're not quite sure if his Instagram account was hacked or if he posted whatever he just posted intentionally just the other day or so. So Sam Witwer, all right, the fact that he's in the talks for Maul, could he really pull it off in the same ways that Ray Park was able to pull it off? That's the biggest question of all. So like I said before in the past, guys, you know, drop a comment below. Let me know think about all of this in the comments. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, do make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel. I thank you all so very much for the kind support, and I'll catch you guys next time.